Ahmed Mahmoud says, he has two questions. Is it obligatory to follow a specific madhab? The answer is no, it's not necessary, but people are divided into three categories. You are either a scholar or a student of knowledge or a layman. You're definitely not a scholar because you are here watching me. You might be a student of knowledge, but if you're not either one, neither one, then you must be a layman. And what do we mean by a layman? A layman can be a professor in university, can be a scientist in physics or mathematics, but in Islamic studies, he is classified as a layman. He cannot tell the difference between an ayah or a hadith. He doesn't know the rulings of a lot of what he sees and reads about. Now, if this is the case, then such a layman is obliged to follow a scholar in everything that the scholar says. Why is he obliged? Because this layman has, does not have, does not possess the ability to distinguish between evidences. And hence, he would be like a small rowing boat in a storm in the ocean. Therefore, he has to follow one particular scholar among the living. If not, then he has to follow a school of thought that he believes in and trusts because of its, its disability or inability to know what is right and what is wrong. Now, if he evolves and becomes a student of knowledge, capable of searching and comparing apple to apple, knowing where the scholars got their evidences from and evaluating it and coming with a conclusion based on knowledge, proper knowledge, and not on based on his whims and desires. In this case, he is able to do that. So to answer your question again, no, it is not mandatory to follow a particular madhab, but if you're a layman, you are not permitted to cherry pick and to do fatwa shopping by selecting what you like and neglecting what you dislike based on your whims and desires because this is more sinful and Allah knows best.